A Vancouver high school student has taken fundraising to the next level and the results are big. She raised enough money to hire a cancer researcher for two years to be devoted to finding a cure for a rare pediatric cancer. In today's Positive Vibes, she talks about her inspiration, a name that may be familiar to you, and why this fight against cancer has turned personal. Erin Ryan may only be a sophomore at Vancouver's Skyview High School, but she is accomplishing things well beyond her years. I heard about the story and I just got very inspired by what happened. Trey Foot! Trey Foot! She was inspired by the story of Trey Foot, a Skyview student who lost his battle with osteosarcoma, a rare bone cancer in 2006. The Foot family has been actively working ever since to raise money to find treatments or even a cure. But Trey's mother tells us progress has been slow. Not much, yeah. if any. They're still using the same protocol. They're still giving the same um, cocktail that Trey had mm -hmm. 13 years ago. One problem is that pediatric cancers are rare, so there's not a lot of research for treatments. When Erin heard Lee speak about the Trey Foot Foundation and their efforts, she wanted to help. She started by organizing raffles. And that's how I kind of started, was just hosting events and talking about what I wanted to raise money for mm -hmm. and what I wanted to do. And then I also went to individual people and businesses and I told them what I was doing and just what the cause was. Her goal to raise $160,000 to pay for a researcher at the Children's Cancer Therapy Development Institute dedicated solely to researching osteosarcoma for two years. She ended up raising $212,000. She's amazing. She's really amazing. A few weeks ago, Erin joined Trey's parents and the researcher at the CCTDI in Beaverton to present a check. And while all of this was going on, Erin got some news at home. Her father has been diagnosed with a rare cancer. That was part of what pushed her past her fundraising goal. Just having him be diagnosed with a rare cancer really showed me what it must be like for these families and how there's not really much treatment being done and there's not really a known treatment. And I think that kind of gave me the push I needed to go out there and raise the money. And by the way, the Trey Foote Foundation awards a scholarship each year to a student at Skyview High School. And the CCTDI lab in Beaverton is making great strides in pediatric cancer research, getting some drugs to clinical trial, which does not happen often with childhood cancers. Now, if you would like to learn more about them or the Trey Foote Foundation, go to coin.com. And if you want more positive vibes, be sure to check out the Coin6 podcast network. The best way to get there is by looking under the special reports tab on coin.com. You can find extended interviews with the people that I get to talk with working on these stories and so much more. You can also get to them by going to coin.com slash coin podcast or download them on the Google Play Store. I know there are several where we lives on there as well. Yeah, it, it gives you an opportunity just to uh, hear the extended interview yes. that we did because we always have to boil it down yeah. into you Two know a couple couple yeah. minutes for mm -hmm. these stories. So uh, a lot of people have some great things to say that don't always make it on the right. air. Mm -hmm. So.